Hey guys, uh, welcome to Paramalytics. Paramalytics is a safe and intelligent inventory management system that we developed over the weekend. So, I want you to meet Hannah. Hannah is a pharmacist and she has 30,000 minimum worth of stock in her fridge and her pharmacy. So, Hannah has a few problems. The first one is how the concept came about and it's nuts. What she has to do is go to the fridge twice a day, every day, and record the, the temperature in a diary. And this is for the regulations for, for pharmacies. So it's, for us, at the very start, it was not that anybody's writing down data. But then we went a little bit further and we started asking questions. What we realized was that they were actually getting black marks against the company for not following through on this small little task that is archaic and outdated anyway. More than that, in that fridge where you have minimum 30,000 worth of inventory, 5% is going to be lost because of the stock going out of date. This stock is really temperature and time sensitive. So we heard a kind of a bigger, more, um, uh, bigger story. So there was a pharmacist in Leitrim and she left at 6 o'clock one evening, came back at 9 o'clock, there was a power cut in the middle of the night, 30 grand of stock out the window um, the next morning. So obviously she rang her insurance company thinking it'll be okay. Five grand of that was covered, and this was for a small pharmacy. <coughs> she told me that she subsequently checked it, and that it's really hard to get more than five grand covered. So she lost 25,000 that day <coughs> overnight um, without anything else, and the bigger pharmacies are going 100 to 200 grand worth of stuff in that fridge. So, <laughs> sorry, okay. Yeah, sorry. So, um, essentially, Breaking Bad was bad, chemist uh, Breaking Bad, and we thought we'd actually removed it, but... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> So essentially what we have is archaic regulatory requirements um, and ones that create black marks on a pharmacist if they forget them. Next, you have temperature control and if, if that drops and you don't know about it, big problems. And you have manager in the inventory, so you have more than 30k there and you need to know exactly what it's doing at all times. So what do we do? We created a mat with pressure and temperature sense sensors. First of all, it's really easy to install. You pop, pop it in three minutes flat um, and it goes straight in. You put your stock on and there you have it. It does a few things. There's no more recording. You don't need to worry about the regulatory body being on your back. Second of all, we alert you. So if your temperature is going down, we text you. We let you know, right, you need to get into the pharmacy and you have about a one hour window for most medicines to come in and fix the problem before it happens. Next off, we alert you when your um, products are going out of date. So if they're expiring in, in April, we say, hey, take that off the back of the shelf in the, in the fridge and um, sell it. And I suppose, so over the weekend we actually managed to hook it up to the cloud, and what we have is a um, uh, an online dashboard, and you have total control of your inventory. And we all know there's nothing better for an entrepreneur than having total control of the minor details. You know the tracking, what's coming in and out of your products. You know the temperature, and um, uh, the temperature trail throughout um, its lifetime in your store. Um, which is obviously much more efficient than the auditing process they have currently with writing down in diaries. You could write it all down, you know, I suppose, in one, in one go. Validation, I suppose. I'll just go back here for a second. We started off with pharmacies, and that's because they have really, really high uh, inventory valuation. What we ended up with was smart shelves. Um, on our product roadmap, and when we were talking to people, this is actually something that could be extended throughout numerous industries, retail, anything. We're connecting the shelves um, to a software system. Why do we have stock tapes? It's because our software systems don't know exactly what's happening on the shelves. So we're going to link them up. There's more to be done here. But if we stick with pharmacies, um, we got some pretty good validation. So yesterday, we uh, Googled the uh, mobile number for the MD of Boots. We left him a, a voicemail. We told him we were at a hackathon. And uh, we told him what we were doing in about five minutes. He called me back in less than a half an hour. And we're actually ready to go on the shelves as much as you can do for a hackathon weekend. And he loves the idea. He said, no, he's not going to notice it day to day. But by God, if the fridge goes down and he's out, he's going to be at 2,000, 200,000 euros. Then he's really going to notice the value of this product. We also got McCabe, CUH and McCartans. Look, it was really hard to explain a hackathon to people. Differences. I'm trying to say, you know, I to explain what hackathon was. And what they were asking me was, okay, well, you know, where can I buy this now? So it's a problem that needs to be solved. And actually, when you tell them you have a solution, they're like, well, why, why isn't here already? We, we, we worked around that one. How are we going to make the money? Hardware as a, hard, hardware as a service. So I threw out a figure of uh, 250 euro per month to the Boots MD, Richard. 
Um, and he accepted that. He accepted that so quickly that I think we have room to double it before we actually win. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's a problem. So we have 40, so we have six units at least per pharmacy. The market is pretty big. Um, it's in the millions. Um, and how are we going to get there? Um, so we've got a few routes, pharmacy chains, wholesalers, and uh, pharmaceutical um, bodies. And we've been in touch, obviously, with, with most of those finding their mobile on the move. Uh, we have competitions, but that shows, I suppose, that there is space to move here. They do. They do stuff. They do like stuff like temperature tracking. They don't link it into software. It's not smart. Um, you can track kind of how your temperature is going, but there's nothing to alert you that you're going to lose 25k overnight. So this is the team. Um, breaking bad records again, if anybody gets it. Uh, it's the nine people who flock to this idea after um, a 60 minute pitch on Friday. It's the people who put together a working MVP um, over three days. It's people who put together um, the software that links into that hardware. We have it all working um, and we do pretty good work. Uh, the team did pretty good work over um, the 56 hours. So thanks very much and I'll uh, invite the team in and take questions. Yes. So what about fridge manufacturers? Um, yeah. Is this something you can sell to the people who supply the fridges into the Yeah, well, certainly I suppose if we're looking at what's there presently um, and trying to work with people who already have fridges, say it was a big capital investment for that fridge, it's quick installation. But long run, yeah, you will be going to the fridge manufacturers and getting it installed straight off. Because it's a pretty neat match that you just plug in. So that would be one of the things. Um, it's going to be powered by main. It's actually powered by yeah. venting when we get down. It was uh, done with Galileo prototypes, so down onto something like the Edison. It only needs to charge up the core sending state of the Wi Fi or whatever 2G mechanisms fairly irregularly. If needs be, it's not. It knows itself, finds itself, and it needs to send it more. Anyway, but we don't even need to hook into it, so yeah, it's fine. Is there different sizes or is it? Yeah, we work with uh, modular sizes to do because all the fridges slide in just like uh, home hardware, white goods, they tend to be specific sizes. So. Yeah, okay. so that's in the product roadmap that you would get to the RFID reading stage, but prior to that, it's just the presence, the fact that if you've anything which seems to be at the back of the fridge for too long. That in itself is an issue. I suppose just in terms of boots, when we gave him our MVP and all I told him was about the alerts, and he's ready to take it just with um, the alerting system for uh, the temperature of your fridge. So, um, just temperature alone. Yeah, and the alerting system. Um, he could lose a lot more points. Yeah. <laughs>